Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mammel and Psychic Medium. Welcome to a collective love reading for all signs and any sign that you may be thinking of. This is a no contact, no communication reading. So if you're not interested in knowing about your past, check out your collective love readings for new love and manifesting new love. So welcome back everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Let's see what Spirit has for you today. Spirit, I ask that you guide me with any loving messages from the person that I'm thinking of. What is it that you want us to know about this connection? Where are we headed? What is happening around this connection? I am listening for you now. I'm waiting. I'm hoping they will change. We're spending time apart. We're putting a pause on this connection. So we are definitely waiting. There is great chemistry. There's still a great passion in this, this connection. And it was really hard to walk away or it's really hard to, um, you know, I'm missing you energy, just physically, I miss being with you. So the chemistry was probably very good. I've been covering up some, um, I don't know if I want to say lies as much as I've been keeping things close to my chest. I have been holding back. I have been um, not answering your questions, which is a form of lying. And sometimes that just is enough just to say, you know what, you're not communicating with me. I know that you're not um, not telling me the whole story. Right. And that's what they're saying. Um, so right now, I feel like we've got somebody who, yes, I'm, I'm very attracted to them. Yes, I'm waiting for them. But they just weren't being like upfront with what was really going on. And they've got to be more upfront. I want to be happy. I want a deeper commitment. Maybe we they weren't opening up about a commitment. Maybe we had some real fears here about a commitment. So it wasn't like they were lying to us. It was, you know, if you were to ask them a question, where do you see us going? Do you see us having a future? It was more like they just didn't answer it. You know, they just didn't acknowledge that question. And, you know, it was like too many answers unsaid, you know, too many answers um, you know, they didn't answer the questions, I guess. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Spirit, please guide me with these uh, energies and emotions. And what is it that you need me to know? Taking off the mask. What is going on? Five of Pentacles. I have a four of Pentacles. I have a King of Cups. And I have a Lover's card. I have to tell you, it literally came into me as... Um, it, it is much harder on them since you've been gone. Okay. It was, I felt like I wanted to sing and I'm not a singer. I don't know what that song is, but it was like, since you've been gone, you know, like I, um, I'm, I just can't, um, I can't function and they're figuring it out. They're trying to figure it out. Like it's, it's a void. It's a hole. It's a hole in their heart. It's, realizing that I, I really do have a lot of loving feel, feelings. Not everybody in separation is angry and hurtful and, and resentful. Sometimes we need that separation to repair a part of ourselves or take a break um, from life. You know, we just need to kind of take part of our life and cool it. But I just feel like it's way, way harder than what they thought it was going to be. It wasn't like I'm just going to put this on hold and go out there and have a good time. Now, all of a sudden, it's, it's they're feeling the they're feeling the ache and they're feeling the, the literally heartache. For those of you that have heartaches, it's it's a real thing. Your body physically hurts. I mean, you're like, oh, my God, what is going on with my chest? Right. It's it, your heart can ache. I have a nine of cups. They're the contentment, missing the contentment, missing even even a routine or missing the a sense of normalcy of being in a relationship, going back and forth. That feels like I'm going back and forth with what do I want to do? Uh, sleepless nights. Absolutely. I feel like this person is struggling with. I didn't think it was going to be this hard. And I know that sounds naive. But sometimes people don't realize, even if they would do it to themselves, they get out there and they think, oh, it's not going to be so bad. You know, I was alone before. But what they they eliminated was you. What they took out of their life was you. And now, yeah, I have an eight of cups. Like, 
I'm struggling with, I know I walked away. I turned my back. I thought that something was going to be better. And now what's happening is I'm having sleepless nights. I'm worrying. Have I made a mistake? Um, did I make the right decision? Are you ever going to forgive me? Are you going to ever talk to me again? So uh, I'm going to say second guessing their choice. I'm going to say um second second guessing their decision something like that that they are you know wondering did i make the right decision or did i act too fast you know did i just react in some way let's keep going let's see what they're saying spirit please share with me i have throw it all out cutting ties yeah i feel like um i i feel like they just kind of pushed everything away you know they just took took this relationship and just threw it out the window and whatever time was in it and whatever effort was in it. And, and I feel like they just wanted to walk away from it all. And it's not that easy because you take your heart with you, no matter where you go, you take your emotions with you so they can walk away, but it's still a part of them. You're still a part of them. Spirit just said. So I think that that's what they're struggling with a new life, healing, cleansing, wanting to, repair. So they are working on, I guess, trying to uh, do some healing, do, you know, um, trying to find a way and some some healing. I do have a phone call coming in They're they're thinking about a phone call. Okay, they're saying long distance, but I don't know if it's long distance as much as it's been a long time. Okay, it's that's how it came into me. Um, it's it's just been a long time. And maybe this is somebody really coming back from the past, you know, somebody that maybe you haven't heard from them for months, you know, months, and you really thought you'd never hear from them again, because it did come into me as it's been a long time. Um, and maybe they needed that much time. But maybe you've moved on, maybe you don't even want to know at this point. But I do feel like um, something is coming forward here. I have a uh, a trail to happiness, a new happy cycle, okay, and a divine, um, a divine connection. So is this somebody that you feel that no matter what I do or how much time and space is between us that we'll always have a connection? Is this somebody that I feel like um, a second chance is, is worth it? because there was always something there and I haven't felt this way with anybody else. So only you can answer that because uh, there has been some distance. There has been a lot of time is how I feel. And depending on what this person's been doing in that time, um, it's, it's just a, you know, where do we pick up from here? But they weren't telling you the whole story. And they just, like I said, they, it was almost a feeling of like, they just, decided like on a dime, like I'm out of here, you know, I'm out of here. I'm not doing this. And there wasn't any like closure or reasons or discussions over it. So that probably was the most hurtful. It was like, why, you know, where was the, the answer to why was never answered. So I think that's what was so hurting. I have a ring. Maybe we had, um, maybe we're married. Maybe we're separated, but we're an engagement ring or we talked about a future together or the fear was, I don't know if I'm ready for a commitment and um, I don't want to be pressured into anything. And they, you know, they ran from a, a commitment, but some kind of ring involved, some kind of, um, you know, somebody has exchanged rings in one form or another. And let's see, I have challenges, negative and unhealthy obstacles there's definitely going to be some obstacles if this person comes back because you're going to worry that they're going to just pack up and leave again. And that's going to be like the elephant in the room. It's going to be, uh, how do I trust you again, that you're not going to just walk out of me on me again. And maybe the answer is that, um, you know, you aren't going to be with this person unless there's a commitment involved because you don't trust that they want to um, be with you. They got to come back and want to be with you. They want to have be in a committed relationship. And I'm not saying go out and get married right away. I'm saying that they come back and, and say, I want to be in a committed relationship. And then things are going really well, maybe for a few years. And then maybe you decide that you really do want to have, you know, take it to the next level. But 
it is a feeling of trust. Like what makes me think that you're not going to just pack your bags and go again? So I think that that's going to be an issue. We have somebody that has regrets, unhealthy regrets, right? I'm healing. Forgiveness is, is um, required. So do I have a do I have a king of cups? I want to go back here for a second. And I mean, a lot of things are jumping out the lies, the, the, oh my God, I don't even know where to start. Like I regret, here's my king of cups. Here's my, I'm worried that, you know, you're not going to uh, love me anymore. You're not thinking about me anymore. And I regret, I regret that I didn't share with you my feelings. I, I I'm going to say it that way. I think that they, I don't think that they were blatantly lying to you. I mean, some of you are going to say, yes, they were. <laughs> yes, they were. They absolutely were. Um, but it, it's sometimes the what they're not saying. What they're not saying is as equal to a lie. It's a white lie, maybe. I don't know. But it, I, that's how I feel. Like I feel like they just weren't saying what you needed to hear. And then it was just like, I can't do this anymore because you're not telling me uh, the whole story. You're not telling me what is going on with you. You're not telling me uh, where, we, where we're going to be or where you want to go uh, with this connection. So I really feel like that's what is, has happened in this um, this connection. Let's see what else they want for you. I have a queen of pentacles, a sense of security. Absolutely. I have a five of, of cups. I know I've disappointed you, I, but I also know that I can make you happy again with these two cups that are standing. So there's a sense of, but I know that we, I still have a shot. It's like, I still have a shot at making you happy. And I know that I can still make you happy. So there's a little part of me that says, this person's filled with regrets, and I do feel like I could still make you happy if you gave me a chance. It's going to be up to you. I have an ace of swords. Here comes the truth. Okay, so if this person steps forward and says, I'm going to make you happy again, and I'm going to start with the truth, with the questions that you asked me, or the conversation that the words were left unsaid, or I never really answered, that's a starting point. I would say that that's a starting point and that's a good starting point. Uh, I have an eight of pentacles. I want to work at this. I want to put the time, energy. I know that I wasn't putting in the effort, Spirit just said. So somebody who says I stopped trying. I have a um, two of wands and a knight of cups. I stopped trying. I stopped forecasting our future. I stopped thinking about, you know, what uh, what it was that you need or I stopped being there for you emotionally. I wasn't as affectionate as I used to be. I didn't make love to you as, as often as I should have. So there could be some real reasons and maybe we talk about it. I, I, I just felt this incredible sense of um, tears is what I want to say. I'm going to say a tearful reunion that for whatever is said, whatever words are said, I feel like they're the right words. I feel like this person is genuine. I feel like we do have a shot at repair. Um, so in this case, I'm going to say I have a tearful reunion um, today uh, for some of you, not all of you. The phone call, even though it's been a long time, it's been a long time since I heard from you, but it just feels so good to hear their voice. It feels so good to talk to them. And I do feel like their, their heart is in it. I do feel like it's genuine. So we're going to see what the love messages are saying. I don't know how to feel. I've been struggling with my feelings. That's maybe the reason why they haven't reached out. I didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know um, what was going on with me. Not a good enough answer, but maybe that's all they can give you. Let's say... Um, I get tongue tied around you. I have a hard time expressing myself, but I want to try to explain. I want to try to explain what's happened to me. We need more quality time together. Absolutely. Um, I'm not myself right now. I'm going to put this over here. Like I just wasn't myself. Maybe they were struggling with something else. They could have been struggling with depression or stress or work issues or health issues. So there could have been some other reasons that were going on in their life, um, you know, through all of this. You do inspire me. I also feel like I want to add, you know, 
thank you for believing in me and never giving up on me because I feel like there's a part of you that just said, I'm going to love you until you can love yourself. You know, just this kind of unconditional love for somebody. I've been praying for you. Um, I've been hoping that you're okay. I've been hoping that you've been healing. Um, so I do feel like whether they knew that or they just felt it or, um, I just feel like they know that about you, that they know that you're, you, uh, we're, we're going to always love them. Um, I do have a soon. Okay. I'll take a soon. I always love soon. And let's get one more. I'm still so attracted to you. So they haven't lost their interest in you. I, I just feel that we lost our way. We lost our way. We stopped putting in time and effort into each other. We started focusing on other areas of our life. And, and all of a sudden we realized that, you know what, what we had, we are starting to lose. And then somebody just decides, I'm, I, I don't want to do this. And I want out and, you know, just packs their bag and leaves. So can we repair that? Yes. Can, if we both want it, I, I do feel that way. And then, like I said, um, this tearful reunion, you know, coming into play that, you know, that tells me that it's genuine. It tells me that the feelings are real and that what they do say to you when they call or they do say to you when they first see you again is going to be um, from the heart. OK, so we are going to put this out to the union, out to the universe, and I'm going to hope for this union for both of you. I want to thank Spirit for this reading today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you always for your kind words. Really appreciate it. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.